Hello and welcome to Being Extraordinary. My name is Sarah Kent and I help women to connect to and create their dreams. Today's episode's all about slow living. So you might have heard about slow living and maybe even decided you don't have time for it. But what if slow living was actually a way to create a more meaningful and conscious lifestyle that's in line with what you value most in life. Now, many of you will know that I live and work from an off-grid narrowboat based on Britain's waterways. And in this episode, I'll share some of the surprising benefits of slow living as well as sharing two ways that you can bring some of the slow living mindset into your life. Now, if you're a woman and you find this helpful, you will find a lot of support in my Facebook group, Being Extraordinary. You'll see the link in the description below the video and I'd love to see you in the group. So first off, slow living doesn't always mean slowing down. What it does mean is seeking to do everything at the right speed. Instead of always trying to do things faster, slow living focuses on doing things better. And yes, for sure, this can mean slowing down, but it also means prioritising spending the right amount of time on the things that matter the most to you. By slowing down and intentionally placing your true values at the heart of your lifestyle, a slow living mindset really encourages you to live in self-awareness and make conscious choices that actually really benefit your well-being and that of the wider world. I mean, there's a whole host of benefits to slow living from reclaiming time for self-care to being more mindful and present, as well as actually helping to build stronger relationships and reducing the environmental impact of our lives. So there's many ways to embrace this slow living mindset, and I'm just going to share two today. When I decided to live and work from a narrowboat, well, at the time I was living in a, a three bedroom house, so I had to reduce my personal possessions so that everything I needed would fit into this very small space. To do this, I actually spent about a year asking myself what was most important in my life and then giving away anything which wasn't needed and which didn't really nourish me. And don't get me wrong, this wasn't easy. And there are some things that I miss, but it has really simplified my life. And having gone through this process actually makes it easier for me, make, for me to make decisions now in the moment. I've learned to ask myself if something is really important or if it's just a, a distraction. So make time and space for what's important. Discover what's important to you in your life. What do you really value? What do you really need in your life to feel nourished? Discovering these things can take time. But once you know what they are, you can start letting go of the things that really don't matter as much as you thought they might. Keep only what you need and love. And you might be surprised by how therapeutic decluttering your physical environment can be. Now, some of you might be thinking that I have to live slowly because I'm on a narrowboat. And OK, whilst that's true in some ways, what is a truer reflection of the slow living mindset is that I'm now choosing to do everything at the right speed. I'm not rushing through tasks and I'm much more aware that I can choose quantity over qu <laughs> quality. Let's get that one right. I'll start that again. And I am much more aware that I can choose quality 
over quantity. When I prepare for these videos, I do slow down and take my time because when I'm present with you, I can speak more clearly and actually enjoy creating this content. When I'm moving my boat, life moves at an easy walking pace and I find I enjoy the moment more. So whilst the right speed for me is, is almost certainly not going to be the right speed for you, when you have a task that you have to do, ask yourself, what's the right speed for me to do this? And listen to what your body as well as your mind are telling you. Allow yourself to be surprised and give yourself permission to be present and enjoy the moment. So the key thing to remember is that slow living actually means living better, not faster. It's a way to find peace, meaning and fulfillment through embracing some simplicity and being present in each moment. I hope you found this helpful today and as I mentioned at the beginning if you're a woman who has a dream and would like to be in a community of other extraordinary women I would love to invite you to be a part of my Facebook group being extraordinary. There's a link to the group in the video description. I'll welcome you personally once you join and actually there is a bonus, a free mini audio class for you to download as soon as you're in the group as well. I'd love to see you there. I'm Sarah Kent and until next time, be extraordinary.